Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Sup? <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm Victor. Welcome back to Shella. Hari ni kita akan cakap tentang kasut video game. That's right, video game sneakers. And we're going to focus on some of the companies that make cool video game stuff. So if you see something that I missed out, kalau nak cakap tentang video game yang kamu suka, let me know what are your favorite video games. Like, share, comment down below, all that good stuff. Okay, let's go. So the first sneaker company we're going to talk about is Puma. That's right, Puma. Of all the brands, we're going to talk about Puma first because they make collabs with Pokemon, they make collabs with Tetris, they make collabs with Animal Crossing, they make collabs with Need for Speed. Ah, kalau kamu main Need for Speed, ada kasut Puma dalam game itu. But not only that, they actually made actual Sonic the Hedgehog sneakers. They made the real sneaker with Shoe Surgeon and it's exactly like the video game. And they also had a Sonic collab, which is kind of cool. But what I want to talk about today is actually their gaming sneaker. That's right, they made a gaming sneaker for eSports. Apparently, it's made with their new Evo Knit technology and it's super comfortable to be playing using eSports. It's supposed to wick off the sweat when you're walking on stage. But how good it is? Kita tak tahu lah, unless you're an eSports player. If you're an eSports player, let us know. Eh? And not need that, Puma also made a gaming seat. Crew seat untuk gaming. Puma made that shit. Eh, cannot say shit, right? I can't, uh. Okay, so Puma made that shit. They actually made an actual chair just for gaming. So Puma is actually really into gaming. So check them out as well. All right, and now the second brand that makes video game sneakers is actually Adidas. That's right, Adidas had so many collabs. That's right, they had so many collabs with games as well. Not only did they make sneakers dengan collab dengan Cyberpunk, that's right, Cyberpunk 2074, which is an awesome game played by the way. Mereka juga ada collab dengan Microsoft Xbox, that's right. For the 20th anniversary, mereka keluarkan tiga sneaker untuk 20th anniversary Xbox. Satu sneaker yang merupakan Xbox yang pertama, the second sneaker with the Xbox 360, my favorite, dan sneaker nombor tiga adalah untuk Xbox One. And at that time, it was the latest console that they had. So Adidas dropped those. So each one of them had a specific look for the Xbox, whether it's the controller or whether it's the iconic green symbol, it's all there in the Adidas 20th anniversary collection. Adidas was one of the first brands that collabed with an esports player, which was Ninja, which they came out with the Adidas ZX Boost. They came out with a Night Jogger, which is insane. And it was also supposedly, supposedly made for esports players. So how good was that? I don't know. <laughs> so before we move on to the last brand, here are some honorable mentions of sneaker companies that make awesome collabs. So we had Vans who made an awesome collab with Nintendo. So they had a whole lineup from slip-ons to the skate aids. They made the boxes look like Nintendo NES boxes. It was one of the coolest collabs and even Xavier Woods wore some of those sneakers out when he was wrestling. That was cool. Next on the list, Onisuka Tiger, which made the Street Fighter Chun-Li shoe. That's right. You can get the Chun-Li shoe in the game and in real life too. And they made exact copies of it. Not only that, Reebok pun keluarkan kolaborasi dengan Street Fighter. Mereka ada kasut Ryu, kasut Gal, kasut Zangief, kasut Chun-Li, semua ada. And so they use different designs and different silhouettes for all the fighters, which I think is a really cool collab as well. And last on the honorable mention list is Asics, where they came out with a gel BND Rockman, aka Mega Man shoe. The design's a little bit too wild for me, but hey, props to Asics for recognizing one of the best platform games ever. All right, now finally, we're going to talk about the brand that I think has the most, the most video game collabs, which is, of course, you guessed it, Nike. So you might know Nike for the collaborations with PlayStation, but did you know they also made um, Jordan 1 mid for the Xbox. That's right. They made a friends and family only Jordan 1 mid Xbox that was made for the E3 convention. And only a few pairs were on the market. So if you find a pair, hit me up, right? US Nike. Not only that, Nike also sponsored the League of Legends tournament in China. It's one of the biggest esports tournament for League of Legends. And to celebrate that, they came out with not one, but two sneakers. The Jordan 1 Comfort High eSports and a Nike Dunk Low eSports as well. So these are not performance shoes for eSports unlike Nike and Adidas, but these are rather just really cool collabs with League of Legends. And another really cool sneaker that Nike produced 
was called the Nike Air Force One Evo Moment 37. So what is Evo Moment 37? Well, thanks to my friends over at Kakuchu Parade, they are the ones that educated me on what it was. So Evo Moment 37 was a pinnacle point in Evo tournament for Street Fighter. So what it was known called a Daigo Parry. So I can't really explain it. You just have to watch it yourself. So Nike actually made a sneaker just to honor this moment. That's right. You have the Daigo Parry moveset in the inner tongue of the shoe. And the outside, it looks like Ken and Chun-Li fighting, which I think, and this is seriously one of these nerdiest moments for gaming. And Nike captured it in a shoe, which I think is extremely, extremely gamer of them. <laughs> and not need that, of course, Nike had a ton, a ton, you can also say, banyak sekali. <laughs> PlayStation collapse. All right, so you got the Nike Air Force One OG. You got the Nike Air Force One PlayStation 4. You have the Nike Travis Dunk. You have the Nike PG Playstations. And then you have the P-Rod Playstations. So, so many sneakers out there. So I'm going to show you guys one of the sneakers that we have. So this is my personal pair of the Nike Air Force One PlayStation 4s, which only dropped for E3 and it was a limited pair. As you can see, mine's a little bit yellowing on the sides, but you have the PlayStation symbol, you have the X, the O's, the crosses, the triangle that represents the PlayStation, and they even have it on the middle, so well, it's dirty, well, worn. So this particular pair is paid homage to the PlayStation 4, not only with the coloring and the color blocking, but it also has the same type of sheen for the PlayStation 4 at the side. Where else the PlayStation 3 was paid homage to in the original Nike Air Force One PlayStation. So finally, the most hype of all the sneakers was the PlayStation Travis Scott Dunks. So ada 24 pasang saja Travis Scott PlayStation. Then out of those 24, only five pairs were made for a contest. That's right. So the public would only be able to get their hands five pairs. That's it. The other pairs, well, you gotta be friends and family with Travis Scott lah. <clears throat> so yeah, of all the sneaker brands, I think Nike is the one that's the most diverse. Teams up with PlayStation and Xbox. They did collapse with eSport players. They did collapse with eSport events, League of Legends, and yeah, so Nike, the most gamer, who would have thought, right? All right, so comment down below any other shoes that I missed out, any other collapse that you think were fire. Which one was your favorite collapse? Let us know. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff and check out my guys over at Kakuchu Parade if you want to know gaming stuff. So this is Victor for Shella and I'm out. Can I get back to Doom already? Can I get back to Doom?